This is John Paul Rye. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. Today, I want to talk about you know who's social media. And the thing is, it's always great to cover court documents, it's always great to cover articles, but I also like to cover what she is thinking, what she puts out there, because if you're anything like me, you put things out there on social media impulsively, especially things like Facebook and Twitter. When you put out a YouTube video or a video, usually you have time to think about it, you edit it, you upload it, you name it and all that stuff. But with social media, it's very impulsive. So it gives a nice insight. So let's take a look at some things she's recently thinking and maybe she's smartening up just a little bit. I don't see any crazy controversial things from her, just kind of regular run of the mill and you could say boring things. But of course, attention getters, I would say. I also want to highlight some of her fans and talk about that because there's speculation that they're not real and I think that these people are actually real because I checked and she is following them. But I'll get into that. Here we go. So here's the tweet I want to talk about. It's called Camera Shy. Now it goes without saying that Amber Heard is not camera shy. She is very uncamera shy. But you know, I'm sure this is a joke. I'm sure this is not meant to be serious and a statement. However, they do say there is some truth to every joke. So maybe it is kind of trolling and making fun and being um camera shy when people know she isn't. Now, if you'll notice, the thread has a whopping 30 comments out of her 181,000 followers. Now, one of the reasons is she limits who can answer. Here we see it. Who can reply? People Amber Heard follows or mentions can reply. Now, she doesn't mention anybody who isn't famous or isn't above her, that she doesn't want to shill out or something. But these people she does actually follow and I did check. So I'd have to assume they are real. This is one reply from Kathy, says the Queen Mera. Pretty boring. And here's another set of replies. And what I noticed is there's a lot of doubling up and even tripling up on the 30 people that responded. I will always love my beautiful Mera. Vita says, Mera, what a great comment. Mera is my life. Well, that's not much of a great comment because that wouldn't be a very deep, involving, fulfilling life, now would it? Especially not the Mera of the movies, who's very surface level. Here's three in a row from Medusa. Very appropriate name for somebody who's following Amber. Medusa is, if you don't know, a very, very evil character in history with snakes on her head, so that kind of fits. I can't read that top comment because I don't speak that language. Or the second one down. The third one says, I love you so much. I guess Medusa has the right to her opinion there. And this one here is from a person that she actually follows. And I checked up on these people because I wanted to see what they were saying. And of course, they were bashing Johnny Depp. Flashback. One year ago, the wife beater announced his withdrawal from his role as Grindelwald. Don't be sad, Johnny. You won't be missed. I gotta take issue with that. I think there's tens of millions of people who are gonna miss Johnny in the movies totally. Maybe no one cares about that character so much, but he will be missed from that franchise and the franchise will not be watched without him on the same level. I guess you'll have your diehard fans and things like that, but it's gonna take a hit. And I heard it wasn't so good moving forward anyway. There you go. Like I said, I think those followers are actually real and she is following over 200 people and most of them are those people who follow her with like 600 followers of their own but they're following like a thousand people. So there's real low quality accounts, I would say. In the future, I might cover them. Things they're saying about Johnny are pretty interesting. They tweet some things out. I would like to take a look at as far as what they think the evidence against Johnny is. It's pretty thin. It's usually like one little sheet of paper with, I don't know, maybe five comments or something like that. There's really no traction in that community as far as defending Amber and being on her side, but they do try. So maybe I'll get into that in the future if it's not too frustrating or nauseating to look at, but it could be important. You guys, of course, let me know what you think down below, doing shout outs, special thanks, things like that. If you're not subscribed here, this is what I'm doing sometimes covering social media and of course articles, court documents once in a while, and things like that.
If you don't subscribe, I'll be pretty sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.